Hello YouTube. Uh, I'd like to show you uh, the results of about a week of extreme nerdiness. This is my homemade 8-bit computer here. Let me give you a little tour. So as I zoom in, um, we can see, I'll zoom right into the actual microprocessor. This is the heart of any computer. Uh, this one here, a 2 megahertz 8-bit 6809 processor by Motorola. Um, as I zoom out uh, up at the top here, this silver can is a 4 megahertz oscillator. That's what gets the signal. Uh, it sets the, um, the drum beat, so to speak, for the microprocessor to uh, complete cycles. But the 6809 needs a two-phase, um, a two megahertz clock signal, and each phase has got to be about 90 degrees apart. So the first chip you see there is a 74 LS. Oh my goodness, what is that? A 76, which is a flip-flop. And the second chip below it is a 74 LS04, which is a uh, inverter. Okay, at the very bottom, all this stuff runs on 5 volts here. So at the very bottom is my 5 volt voltage regulator, which is getting its power from that little battery box there, which has got four AAA cells and a switch in it for a total of 6 volts. Uh, which is probably the absolute minimum I should be using for that little circuit, but it's got the built-in switch, so I'm being kind of lazy on that. And then, if you look at the processor, uh, first of all, that little uh, button there, that is hooked up to the reset of the microprocessor. Um, and then, uh, if you notice, at the bottom right of the microprocessor, there's green wires and the two wires above it, I guess it's purple and gray, and ending with the last green wire. Don't count those orange wires. Those lines are the 8-bit data bus. And what I've done just to get this little computer to run, and I don't yet have RAM or ROM implemented, so those guys are hard-coded. Um, notice on my breadboard there, there's a horizontal red and blue line that those wires are connected to, the uh, the blue being negative and the red being positive, or in binary land, a uh, positive is equal to one and negative is equal to zero. So th that data bus is hard coded to a binary. Uh, let's see, what is it? A binary 18, which is a hexadecimal 12. Anyways, uh, to make a long story short, that's programmed to a very specific. Uh, command for that processor, that hexadecimal 12, is what's called a no-op, no operation, and that tells the processor do nothing and grab the next address. Which brings me to those orange wires at the very bottom of the right and left of the chip, which right now, um, it's actually a 16-bit address bus, but I've only got the, uh, the most significant 8 bits of that address bus wired to these LEDs here because uh, it's no fun unless you can see blinking lights. Um, and actually what that does is that gives some indication that this computer is running. It'll show the um, the MPU, the microprocessor, reaching out to the address lines to try and get the next instruction. Only I know that the data bus is hard-coded so every instruction that it thinks it's getting from a new spot in memory um, which I haven't implemented yet, is hard-coded to get that next instruction of a do-nothing or no-op, and therefore it it just runs away at 2 megahertz um, doing nothing. Uh, this, incidentally, is called a free run. So let, let's see if it works here. First of all, I'm going to turn on the oscilloscope. All right, you can see um, this is, uh, that's what these leads are. They're actually connected to the clock lines of the CPU and right now with the power off this whole computer is showing no clock but mm, there we've turned it on we see the power LED notice there's my clock signal right 2 megahertz 
and nothing's happening because um, when you first turn this guy on, I guess as the voltage is coming up, uh, it's a little bit unstable and the CPU is essentially crashed. I'm going to press the, oh, oh, there it went. What I was going to do is press the reset button, which will hold it down for a few seconds. And now uh, you see the LEDs blinking as the computer is executing a very, very simple program called a free run. And uh, that, folks, is the very, very beginning of an 8-bit computer uh, made at home. Pretty crazy stuff. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching.